as she dipped the brush into the milk. <laughs> My goal would be to adopt a 30 year old man with a job. <laughs> Never. God, no, never. Well, I have to say, Mr. O'Brien, you've done a mighty fine job. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all having a lovely day so far. Mine is going to be busy. I am dressed for cleaning. I am ready to go. And today is going to be one of those days where there's nine million things that need to get done. And I am on a mission to get them done all while Danny is asleep. Yep. Does anybody else have dog babies that refuse to eat? Have some breakfast. Bear in mind, we're not complete weirdos. We have tried her in the utility room, we've tried to hand feed her, and now she's up on her chair, still refusing no, to eat. Even look at her. <laughs> she's just so spoiled. That's all that's wrong with her. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> so it's actually getting nice again as well. <laughs> Why is it that when I vlog, I always just talk about the weather? It was the same when Sinead was stuck in London with the snow. All they done was just keep talking about how snowy it was. <laughs> it was never used. I'm sure it was in some bo bloopers crib. Ah, oh, speaking of, some bloopers <laughs> crib. Are you some okay? bloopers clip somewhere. I need to actually find something else to talk about other than... <laughs> the camera goes on here. Danny and he can't be normal. Even still, after five months, he still can't be normal. I, I can be normal when it's Sinead holding it. But when it's me holding it, it's just too awkward still. <laughs> well, anyway, Sinead is currently making tear and chair, and I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> Look how close he's holding it to his face. I'm gonna eat every bit of it, and she's not gonna get any. <laughs> this is how we vlog now. <laughs> New here. <laughs> Stop making me do the crazy laugh. <laughs> so instead of trying to do some practice and just. Be like Sinead Bees in the vlogs. Let's have my cup of tea here. My Ray-Bans. I'll tell a little story about my vegetable patches. She caught me. <laughs> now you realise how hard it is, Danny. How awesome sauce I am at the vlog, you know. Do you know what is awkward, just to interrupt you? What? Apparently I've been doing a, a weights exercise for the last 15 hours. <laughs> On your Fitbit? On my Fitbit. <laughs> Show me. Yeah, buff. 15 hours. Right. <laughs> Basically, instead of me looking at the camera and talking about myself, I just narrate life <laughs> for you and, You're my and narrator. everything else. As she dipped the brush into the milk, <laughs> she started salivating about the taste of the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a goal. Now, 25 minutes. Oh. Gorgeous. It has to cool down and go away. So instead of doing a separate video today, we decided we would do our couple's Q&A as part of the vlog, just cause it's more chill. We wanted this to be very much informal and a little bit more of a get to know us kind of personally. So we have the questions that you sent in on Danny's phone and we'll just read them out and go through them one by one and hopefully do our best to answer some of y'all and call us y'all. So the first question that we got is from Chronically Teresa. Hi Teresa! <laughs> and the question is actually, it's a hard question to answer, I think anyway. It's if you could change one thing about the other, what would that be? Oh. Looks, personality, quirks, anything. And on the flip side, what do you love most about the other person? Oh God. So me being a gentleman, I'm gonna let Sinead go first on this uh, one. What would I change about you? Sometimes he's a little bit too relaxed about things. When I get very aggravated or frustrated over something, not necessarily frustrated, but I care a lot about something, uh, maybe what somebody has said or what somebody's done, he tends to take it very lightly and sometimes not as seriously maybe as the situation warrants. But I think that sometimes that can be a good thing too because you need that balance of like a calm person and a very highly strong person if you like so it can work out quite well one thing i like about danny he is hilarious and every day there's a laugh even if we're absolutely pulling the heads off each other over something there is something every day that would make us laugh me then i suppose one of the things that i would change about Sinead would be nothing i'm perfect yeah um Sinead doesn't have a lot of patience. No, I definitely don't. If any, mm. patience at all. Yeah. Um, so I suppose, other than that, she's perfect. <laughs> we struggle so yeah, much definitely. to say nice things to each other. <laughs> when you are a perfectionist in life, you don't tend to have patience 
for people and sometimes if things are not done the way you want them done then you get very as i said highly strong very aggravated very quickly and sometimes danny gets the brunt of that like 99 percent of the time so i will i am working on that i'm trying i'm trying very hard to work on these little things one of the things that i tolerate about sinead <laughs> would be that she makes it very easy to be funny well, a lot of my jokes are from Sinead actually being funny herself. We have it on camera, people. <laughs> that was a lie. You're easy to make fun of. Thank Sinead, you. I appreciate that. that. Okay, next question. Next question. The next question was from Beatrice. And she asked, who said I love you first and what is Daniel O'Brien's profession? We've no idea who said love you first. Absolutely no idea. We were talking about this the other night and... To be honest, none of us can remember. Danny reckons it wasn't him because he would have been, he was very shy when we met, so I don't think it would have been you. No, I still haven't said it to this day, so mm. um, it's a bit I'm awkward, fairly really. confident it wasn't me. So obviously for the past year, I haven't been in college. I've been waiting to go back this September. Uh, I've applied for a couple of business ones, but the one that I mainly wanted to get is actually auctioneering and estate agency and valuation so the dream is to sell big houses in LA I was working in England kind of just doing different things I was in boots for a while mm. I was working in a call center as well selling websites I was absolutely dire <laughs> it was terrible I for another video I'll never, <laughs> never work in a call center again ever the next question is from my lovely friend Stephanie and she asked two questions she said when are you going to pop the question already well um I've given a lot of thought to it and I was thinking probably going to ask her on the 32nd of September. <laughs> the 32nd um, of September, i.e. never. <laughs> Second question, how many children, if any, do you want in the future? That's a really difficult question because we already have a dog child. Um, one. <laughs> one dog child, she's the perfect dog child and the only dog child I ever want in my life. <laughs> my goal would be to adopt a 30 year old man with a job, <laughs> a good job. So he can pay for himself. So he can retire like, straight away. <laughs> yeah. And he can pay for himself and us. Yes, exactly. But yeah, we definitely do want children at some point in the future, but we're just enjoying ourselves way too much at the moment, just tipping away and getting ourselves organised and doing essentially whatever we want to do. And I don't see that changing or us wanting to change that any time in the next five to ten years, yeah. to be perfectly honest. We do want to get all our travel and everything in and mm. whatever, like live kind of our own lives for a while yeah. before we are worrying about paying for our schools and I love babies and I love children and I love handing them back at the end of the day too so <laughs> next question is from Aaron Greenberg he says how did you guys meet and do you remember your first kiss with each other interesting this is a very interesting and awkward question we met when we were at school there was basically a pub in the town where we all used to kind of go on like our high school nights out if you like it's the only place where underage people could get served yeah really you could go and have a drink and you know the guards might not be knocking on the door First it was december. yeah it was late december 21st of december 2012 12. oh my god that's sick and i was actually going out with somebody else at the time which is slightly awkward and definitely requires its own video we won't go too much into it out of respect for that person and their family and everything I seen her at the bar and i said she is absolutely perfect to shift my friend. <laughs> and I turned around and I said, no, I have a boyfriend, <laughs> which is, and he was there and he was standing at the bar while this question was being asked. So ox for you, Dara. Yeah, it was a bit awkward for Dara, but. Uh... <laughs> for Dara. Dara was literally looking at us like, what, what just happened? <laughs> we were about to head to the Chinese and I was like full up to here with drink, like literally, I don't drink that much anymore. I, I did all those drinking years then. Yeah. But um, I remember I remember saying to my boyfriend at the time, I love Daniel Bryan, I love Daniel Bryan. He's so nice, can we invite him for a house party? Lo and behold, here he is. <laughs> I, I didn't go to the house party. didn't go to the house party. <laughs> and I actually asked him out just for the record. Did you? Yes, I did. I was sick in bed with a vomiting bug. How romantic is that? Do I remember our first kiss? No, we, we literally, we just, we don't remember. Really and truly, that is the honest answer. There was no romantic story. There was no butterflies. There was no, it, it just was, it happened. And yeah. I mean, it's five and a half years ago. So yeah. no, no recollection of that whatsoever. <laughs> question is from ZZ and she said oh congrats when did you know it was really love also is there a secret thing you did or maybe do which the other person doesn't know about feel like you should spill some tea I don't keep secrets from Sinead but my wife doesn't know about Sinead <laughs> so 
That's kind of a secret I keep from her, I suppose. Interesting. No, unfortunately, there is no tea to spill. We literally do everything together or are on the phone all the time. Yeah. So there is no secrets, really. None. Sinead likes to have barbecues and not tell me about it. Yeah, I mean, there's little things like that. Nothing she's here. It's just because you were on a diet and I didn't want you to feel bad. You know, well, she was stuffing her face with burgers yeah, and chicken and sausages. Because it's hard when you're trying to lose weight and other people are eating nice food around you, you know? Yeah. So I was being really nice to you. I was probably eating pizza that night as well. Whatever. Don't even say that to me. <laughs> uh, when do we know it was really love, Danny? Kind of one of them things that you just know. People think that this kind of lightning bolt strikes you or like you kind of wait for that spark. Definitely has to be some sort of like a spark in a relationship that's that kind of forces you want to talk more. You know, we definitely were friends for a long time and we really enjoyed talking to each other and it kind of just became a case of we didn't go a day without talking to each other and then you realise, oh, I really like talking to this person and then you start hanging around with them more and then they kind of just become a part of your life over time. There was no real moment where I knew it was really love and and that's, that's a shame. I think it would be nice if I had like a eureka moment where I was like, no, this is love. <laughs> One thing you will learn about me and Danny is we're very reserved people. We like to, to have the banter and have crack we're rather also, than being lovey dovey, you know. We're also very private. Yeah. So we're not ever really going to be extremely lovey dovey on video on videos or, or in front yeah. of people. PDAs kind of freak me out. Ben asked, What has been your biggest struggle over the last five years as a couple and how did you guys overcome it? Can't wait to check this one out. Thank you, Ben. I find the biggest struggle that we've gone through together has probably been when Danny dropped out of college. Yeah. Um, now, I, I say, say dropped that. out, it's not dropping out. He decided that the college course that he was in was not for him. But the build up to him actually telling me that was honestly like he was going to break up with me. He was weird, he wasn't right. The day he told me, it was like an emotional day because he thought that I was actually going to leave him because obviously I was in the middle of college. I was going to London to do my masters. So that was a really, that was emotionally hard decision for you to make. And then afterwards, it was hard to cope with because we had plans to maybe go and do a J1 in America, which we couldn't do anymore because Danny wasn't a student or... Um, it just fell hold to a lot of things that yeah. I wanted to do, yeah. that we wanted to do. Mm. There are little things, but you just kind of have to realise that these things happen for a reason. Great question, Ben. And the final two questions we'll go through are kind of funny ones. We want to end on like a happy note. <laughs> Next question is from Serafina and she says, Congrats you two. My question, do you poop in front of each other or do you keep some mystery in your relationship? Mystery. Mystery without a doubt. Forever. <laughs> Forever will be mystery. That is a boundary that will never, ever, ever be crossed. Ever. God, no, never. However, I do sometimes pee with the door open because I'm afraid that monsters are going to get me after we watch a scary film. Yeah. And the final question to end this round of couples Q&A is from Brittany Dean and she says, who wears the pants in the relationship? I'm pretty sure I know who, but just curious as to what Danny says. It's not that you wear the pants, Sinead, it's just that it's really not worth the hassle of the argument. So we just agree. So he thinks. Davies over and out. I hope you enjoyed our little couples Q&A and got to know us a little bit more than you already have. I think it's nice to kind of sit down and get to know us a little bit more just as people rather than just kind of having banter on the vlog because we do that a lot. And I don't know if you really know a lot about the dynamic between us, but hopefully you know a little bit more today. But this girl has seen my little shadow all day. I already had her dinner, so I don't know what she's looking for. Honestly, it's like having a small human in the house. She can't tell me what she wants, but she wants something. And so you've got to go through the whole list of what she might possibly want. And the professional pizza maker is about to make me the most beautiful pizza you've ever seen in your life. Did everybody see that look when I said makes me a beautiful pizza? One of the easiest things we ever did was learn how to make pizza dough, in all fairness. It's so easy. I don't think people terrible realize timing. how easy. To say that it's easy, because I'm doing terribly at it. <laughs> we'll check back up in a few minutes. We'll give him some time to gather himself. Mr. O'Brien, you've done a mighty fine job. Looks good. Well done, it looks absolutely epic. Get it on Instagram, please. Thank you. <laughs> All 
Sarah, everybody. I don't know why I look like a spud all day. I look semi-normal now. I've actually washed my hair. However, we are going to leave the vlog there for today and dig into this absolutely amazing looking creature. We? Yes, we. Me. God. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I know we didn't get to answer everybody's questions on the couple Q&A but we wanted to keep it kind of short and sweet. We will definitely do more of those. We'll kind of just drop them here and there into the videos as we go along. So that is it for today's vlog everybody. The hair is up and I am da -da 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 done for the day. If you haven't already liked this video please do give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see more of our random vlog antics and I will see you in my next video. Bye!